Hi everybody, um, today I'm going to try my first ever marvellous mould silicon onlay. This particular one is called Moroccan Lattice um, and Mar marvellous moulds have a really great range of products and I'll pop a link below to their website. So I'm following the very clear instructions today and we'll see how that goes. So I've mixed some tylose into my fondant to stiffen it up a bit. Then we need to roll the fondant quite thin, approximately 1.5 millimetres or 1 16th of an inch and a pasta machine would be really handy to help with this so I think I need to purchase a KitchenAid pasta machine attachment. Okay, you need to lightly dust the onlay with some cornstarch. Um, you don't need much and I've been brushing the excess off with a paintbrush. Definitely don't skip this step, it's really important especially if you live in a hot humid area. So the next step is to place the fondant on top of the onlay and gently rub that fondant into the onlay. You can use your fingertips, the heel of your hand or a fondant smoother. I used all three. And then it's also a really good idea to roll it over the top of it with a small rolling pin. Take your time with this step. This is one of the steps that you really don't want to rush. And you can start to see that pattern showing through the fondant now. It doesn't take too long. Remove the excess fondant from the edges and mine came away really um, easily, pretty much on its own, which was great. And then the next step is to brush some sugar glue evenly over the fondant. Um, I used some glue that I'd made from gum paste and water mixed together. Uh, you can make, use a mixture of uh, one part water and three parts corn syrup if you like. Um, both make a really good glue. The next step is to remove the unwanted pieces from the onlay and I just used a, a toothpick to do that and that came away nicely. And this is the step where you find out whether you used an adequate amount of cornstarch or not. Um, if you don't use the cornstarch it's difficult to get them off. Then we just need to um, gently stretch the onlay and that just ensures that it's loosened up a bit so that when you want to pop it on the cake it will come off easily. Okay, now it's time to put it on the cake. So you just uh, place the onlay against the cake gently and line it up. It's really great because it's see-through so you can line the pattern up really easily. Press it gently all the way around and that will adhere your pattern to the cake. And then we're going to start at one end and just very slowly peel the onlay back making sure that the lattice is stuck onto the cake. You take your time with this step make sure that it comes away nicely. And there we go. Easy. All done. Here's some photos of the finished cake. Uh, I'd love you to come and visit me at my blog. Uh, there's more details about this cake and a lot of other cakes, cookies and yummy food over there. Um, I'll pop the link in the description block box along with links to Facebook and Instagram and also the Marvelous Moles website. Thanks heaps for watching.